Now, the reason why I, I say that I'm a geek is because I am very direct. Okay? If you consider yourself as an adult, one of the things is that you need to understand, okay, is that when someone tells you something or shares with you something, keep an open mind. You may not like it, but keep an open mind. Okay? Now, if you don't already know, I'm a Chinese. Okay, so I don't have love for people like Picasso. But I still read what they have to say because everyone has a right to say what they want to say. Alright? I don't like you, so I I don't know what they have to say. <laughs> I don't like him. But I must also let him say what he wants to say. Okay? I can say what you say is stupid, but I will still defend your right to say it. Because it's your right to say it. Now what it's gonna do with software? All this has to come to you and come from you whether do you want to use something that some guy many thousand miles away decides whether what you can do with it and what you cannot do with it. You notice this when you buy a piece of software. Seriously, anyone here bought software? No. <laughs> anyone here download software? <laughs> Now, this is one sign of maturity, it's called honesty. I'm very, very happy about this because when I was in China, I was talking, I said, who downloads software? Nobody raised their hand. <laughs> so, I spoke in Mandarin, who downloads software? Then you can see, but nobody downloads <laughs> But we are talking about China, you know, any damn thing is pirated, even the egg also got pirated. <laughs> okay? So, so we are more honest with ourselves. I download MP3 because I cannot bring myself to buy Katy Perry's CD. <laughs> I download MP3 because I cannot bring myself to listen to buy Justin Bieber. Bieber does. Dude, you are sick, man. <laughs> okay, now, I'm not advocating soft uh, um, piracy here. But we have to face the fact. If not because of piracy, eh, none of us will know how to use a computer. Do you agree? Yes. 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 If anyone who tells you piracy is bad, just kill it. <laughs> do you say that the person is stupid? Yes. 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 No. <laughs> piracy is bad. Copy. Okay? But, to us, it's good. <laughs> you love it. Even you say people now work for Microsoft, Rani Jakarta, tak pernah guna lawyer version. Okay. Now I want to tell you this is that in Malaysia, okay, we are very fortunate. You go outside, you don't need to dodge bullets. Okay. You walk around town, just walk around town. You can walk around town with what kind of hairstyle you want to be. What kind of music you want to listen? Nobody gives a damn about you. That's freedom. We take it for granted. You wear differently. You play the wrong type of music in Beijing, China. You end up in a prison camp. Okay? They don't like the music you do. I teach you to sing a song. Just sing in Tiananmen Square. Instantly, you get a free trip. Free trip. <laughs> you know, where there's no most of the time. <laughs> This is freedom we are talking about. Now, software freedom, why is it important for you? Now, anyone, all of you are IT grads? IT people? Yeah. 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 Okay, most of you maybe are. Isn't it ridiculous when some guy comes to you and say, this is how you write software, this is the only way you should write it, and if you use it any other way, it's considered to be illegal. It's just like one day I come to you and say, look, Again, as you <laughs> because it's big one. <laughs> so I come to you and say, I want you to draw, but I want you to draw this way, this way, this size, this size, this one. Any other way? Sounds familiar? That's what you do in school, isn't it? Yeah. You solve the mathematics this way, or else jalan kerja tak betul salah. Stupid. Okay. You can never bundle things like artistic and mathematics. But that's where we are grow up to 
B. Now we got people who tells you how you can use your software. Because you already paid for it, you buy a new laptop, you got your software included. Now, then you use it and you get whatever, then you want to format it and you say, no, you can't format it. Why? Oh, because it's in the license. I'm not going to give you a CD by the way. If you want to get a CD, you have to pay me money. So it's like, you lost a key to your car, you want to make another copy, can I? You like to do that? If you buy a car like that, I tell you, throw the salesman out the door, correct? Huh? But now, huh, you do that in software, like that, huh? what? My person can say it cannot. But for us, what we do, are you BT? <laughs> BT a new copy of seven, hey, you got crack, you crack, you know? That's how we do, isn't it? That's what we do most of us. You want to go on doing this, it becomes a habit. That's what you're going to teach your children. You don't have this software, download a pirate copy, crack it, do it. Then you ask God, forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> then download it. So they download it. Then after, forgive me. Okay. <laughs> then you do it again, again, and again, and again, and again. So if it becomes a culture, what happens to it? Malaysians will be known as a country of counterfeiters. <laughs> You go to people who say, I, I don't want to invest in Malaysia, I need people never buy my stuff. It's what's happening in China. It's what's happening in places like Indonesia. Why should I actually come up with a new software? Because I know these people will find a way to crack it and you're killing your own software. So, good. I've said that. That's what Microsoft always say. You're killing the software industry. Is it correct? Because you buy pirated version, you kill out the pirate. You know, people cannot make soft money out of it. So how do we solve this? So IT industry must be doing not huh? So we must be in the wrong field, or we should be doing something more like <coughs> business, you know, uh, so be a bit more like chef Zhang. <laughs> <laughs> you notice know, almost celebrity chef into the then only become celebrity. I don't know why, if you're a man, you cannot be celebrity chef. <laughs> but the funny thing is, a lot of things, a lot of things, we see it from the proprietary software point of view. You buy software, you use it, you pay money, that's it. You let someone dictate what you should do with your software, what you should do with your computer. You don't even like even your mother to tell you how you dress. Does your mother wear, uh, decide what you wear? Yes. Thank you. I was hoping that you <laughs> You won't even do that, right? Your mother tells you, hey, Tomorrow wear yellow, ah. Uh. Okay, sorry, wrong color. Tomorrow wear wear blue, ah. Uh. Yellow now haram already. <laughs> so, ah, uh, your pants must be uh, thicker this way, ah. Uh. Your underwear must be blue and polka dot green. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? I'm a hawker, you know. What's the first thing? Xiao uh? eh? That means, ah, gila. Gila. You won't even let your parents decide what you wear. You won't even want your, your, your close do. people. Yeah? Okay. Sometimes do. I, I, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why should you allow yourself to allow your computing to be decided by a, by a company which knows nothing of you, who knows nothing of your culture, who knows nothing of what you really want, and tells you how you should use your system? Now, free software allows you to take back that. You use it how you want it to use it. You give it to people you want. So how do people make money out of this? Now, in the olden days, before there was modernization, okay? Hari ini dalam sejarah. I just want to ask you this. When you ask someone, you hire a cook, huh? what do they produce? Let's say you hire a tukang masak. What do they produce? Masak. Food, huh? Food. Do you buy the food from them? You hire them to do something for you, right? Yes. Because they are skill set. Yes. You hire a tukang kayu. Do they make wood? No. They make something out of it. So free software. You don't hire people because you buy the software. You hire them because of the skill set. Right? You hire artists not because you buy the pen. Buy a pen, free artists. No such thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You want the end result, you want the service, you want the product, which is from the mind. This is, we are going back to the basics now. A lot of our, our things that is happening in the world now also messed up. You've got people in Plantan covered with gold coins and all that. I'm not going to debate that. Huh? 
But you think about this. Why is it so happening? Because we are so obsessed in buying and selling. I buy a product. Okay. This is what I own. Okay. So, what about the person who makes it? Samsung la, or HTC la, or Apple la. You look at it as faceless people. But they are people. You hire a person to write software, you hire his skill or her skill. You don't hire that person because of the computer. You want to be known as a person who has the skills, or you want to be known as a person that comes with a computer. Of course. I look at your face, I know this fella, or tie in this field. This fella, damn good in this field. I don't say this fella very good when combined with this computer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the, the, the modern society has made us uh, less than what we are. You, know? you notice? You are no longer looked upon as people with skills, with thoughts, with ability. You look at people who are coming out to do one thing, which depends on another thing, which depends on another thing. Why can't you just be who you are? Free software allows you to do it because the software is no longer an issue now. You go to the internet, you download a Linux distribution or a free BSD distribution. You and I are now on level playing fields. You want to start a company now. You want to go legit. I'm a very religious person. I want to go legit. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go and buy software. Yeah, I look at the price, I <laughs> No more yes. <laughs> because the software price is more expensive than your hardware. Yes. Uh, it's ridiculous. You notice that? How much Microsoft Word costs you? Most of us don't know. Eh? Yeah. Because we're DT Sajjah, ma. Or just like, 300 plus ringgit. According to our friend here, I don't know, let's take his word for it. He's wearing red, so I'm being trained on it. So, <coughs> let's consider that. 300 plus ringgit just to type a letter. Come on, man. Come on. 300 plus ringgit just to type a letter. You go to Google Docs, free of charge. You download OpenOffice or LibreOffice, it's free of charge. You want to type a letter, you give 300. You've got 100 workers, you die. That's only word, you know, what about Excel? Whatever, whatever things that you want to do. That's a lot of money. Okay? Photoshop. Yeah. Photoshop, a lot of people want to use Photoshop. Why? Because I want to change the head to this. <laughs> <laughs> we often say, we cannot do work without Microsoft Excel. Why? Because I need a table. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea, because I'm in this line for quite some time, all right? You have no idea people who scream, bang tables, say, I want my Excel, if not, I, am, I cannot do my work, you know, productivity will be lost, and you tanggung, and then I ask that person, what do you actually use? I use it to create the tables that I use for checklists every day. What? What is wrong? Sure. These are the people, okay, because they do not understand. They're looking at the product, they're not looking at the skill set. If you are good enough, okay, you can make use with any tools and get your job done. If you can only say, I, without this tool, I cannot do my job, then you are not skilled at all. You're just trained in that product. And you have to actually sit down, look yourself in the mirror and say, how am I relevant? With free software, you are re relevant because you have the freedom to use the software however you want to use, to modify how you So yeah, someone argued to me, I'm not a programmer, so it's not relevant for me. I don't modify software, I just use the software. Same thing, you are not a mechanic, why are you driving a car? <laughs> right? Why do you need to look at the engine? You send to the banker, you know, the banker on the high, so that to come here. Sure enough, take my word for it, lah, sure lah, just go off lah. Pay me 150 ringgit, go off. Will you do that to your own car? No. But why do you do that for your software? You do it for internet banking? You do it for your social chatting? You do it for your emails? You do it for job application? 
your university application. You rely so much on something that you don't even know what is running inside. And we are so comfortable with it. Now we are giving you an option that even though you do not know how to read the internals of it, you can hire someone else to actually look at it. I am very interested to know, okay, of all the people here today, any one of you who has never heard of Firefox? No. We were at a seminar not so long ago in Minette, where we asked any one of us using Firefox, there was only half of them using it. And the other half didn't even know what Firefox was. It is really exciting, you kind of think about it. It is really exciting and it's really very really sad. But what I want you to do from today, if possible, if you have never used free software, give it a speed. Okay, give it a speed. You're taking back your rights as a computer user. You're not letting others determine how you should use a computer. Okay, try to format your, your Windows system more than three times the legal one, uh, not the bit torrent version. You get problem. You have to ask permission from Microsoft. Please let me use. Oh, I format three times already. I change my RAM or I change my display card or I change something. Please let me use the software I pay you one thousand ringgit for. Will you ask Proton to let you use your car just because you are driving on a different road? <laughs> <laughs> you think about that. <coughs> A lot of things that we use, a lot of things that we rely on every day is based on software which are so close that you don't even know what is happening. Much of you may have seen uh, movies about, you know, back doors and all that stuff. How can you honestly tell me that something that you rely your confidential data on, how can you be sure that there is no back door? Just because one company that belongs to the richest man in the world tells you there's no. When was the last time rich men actually really tell you the truth in the face? You don't, you know, the not so rich politician also lie all the time. Why do you rely on them? You book your aircraft, you put your insurance, your health, data, all this system. How sure are you these are not cyber? Because you don't even see what is inside, you can't even be sure. Don't make the mistake of thinking all right, that free software is somewhere inferior. This is your right. You should have a right to know what is running on your system, correct? You modify your house, you change your car or whatever. You have a right to know what is running. What is actually in your system? What is running? What do you change? Why are we so lax? I just want you to think about that okay, for a moment. Are we actually rely on ourselves too much on software which was created by the bunch of people who hardly know you exist. Which actually rely so much that we sometimes will bang table and say without this piece of software we cannot even function as individuals. You know how sad that is? I can't work without Microsoft Excel. Which what the hell you've been doing all these years? You're only using Excel. Uh. One skilled person is so sad. Okay, so as students, as people who I, who I see, they are, you, you guys are, are quite smart as well. Give yourself a chance. Okay. Why do we always say freedom, 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 freedom? <coughs> Nowadays, people also pertikaikan kemerdekaan. Okay, because I think they've got too much time on their hands. Okay, the true kemerdekaan is in your mind. It's not so much of whether people put a gun on your head. If you are free, your soul is free. I can put 10 guns in your head, you'll be free. We still rely too much on software. We still rely on standards which are coming from other countries. With free software, you can actually determine your own standards. You can even determine how your software writes. Why can't you create a Kampung Baru version of Linux? <laughs> that has everything about what is nice and awesome about Kampung Baru. I'm taking an example because there's only Kampung Baru right now. Or if you are from Joho, why don't you create a Joho version of an operating system? Let Johoran use it. 
Okay, you have all your Joho sites and sao, all your Joho relevant links and such thing. Why can't you do that? Do you think people like Microsoft or Apple will create a Joho specific version of their OSs for you? There is, I know, a starter edition for Windows for Malaysia. I want to know, anyone here actually uses the Malay version of an operating system 24-7? Please raise your hand. I'd like to see it. None of us. I'm not happy about this. I'm not, not happy about this, but that's the fact. Malaysia, we are a very funny country. We talk about national language, but the working language we use is usually English. Right? So, how do we actually defend ourselves? How do we actually improve ourselves by going free software? You got a you got something good you want to share with your friends. You can't do that with Windows. You can't do that with Apple. You want to have people fixing stuff for you. If something goes wrong in your Windows, what can you do? For me. For me. Right? For me. For me. So, you can see that you cannot rely on anyone. You can't even hire someone to fix your OS. Imagine you are a company which is so reliant on this software, and the, the manufacturer of the software say, "Oh, this, you know, we no longer support this. Your day, okay? But you use it to make money every day, and the software gives you a lot of bucks and money. You cannot just say, "Oh, I buy a new version." That means that you might need to stop your business for one or two days. Can you afford? Why do you spend so much money buying something that you don't even have access to the source code for allowing some other people to help you to fix it if the manufacturer is no longer supports it? If you don't want to go back to Proton for your service, you can go to some bank outside. Right? So imagine one day they say all bankers outside close. All must be to talk. You can only go back to the correct. Workshop, the, the, the workshop that is from the car, whatever, Citroen, Proton, Peridot. All of us, I think, rather will take the bicycle. So this is what you think about it. Use cars as an analogy. If you won't allow your car to be locked down in that way, why do you allow your software <coughs> to be locked down there? We use it for play, we use it for pleasure. We use it for work. But yet, we allow ourselves to be locked down in this way. In a way, it begs the question, why do we allow ourselves to be locked down and still smart? Because one fine day, you will come across a piece of document that you have saved 10 years ago while you were having, you know, when you were young, you want to open up and say, sorry, format, no longer supported, you're on your own. <coughs> have you encountered this before? Yes. I have encountered this, you know why? I actually wrote a love letter to my girlfriend last night. This is something I will not share with my wife. This was not her. But I could not open it because I said, oh, this lock is no longer. It was written in uh, uh, Word 2.0. Anyone still remember that? Yeah. Wow. And there was even an earlier letter which I wrote in Word Star 5. I think some of you may not even be born there. I want to open it, you can open it. No longer support. Do you want such things to happen to you one fine day? You know, your wedding picture. Sorry, format not supported. You are screwed. Yeah. You're going to tell your wife. Okay? Uh, ladies, I'm, I apologize. Uh, you know, because I'm married to one, I have a daughter at home, so I have enough ladies in my life at this moment. So, <laughs> so for, me, for me, I find that, you know, ladies are very unique creatures. Okay. So, I, I think possibly why I'm so interested in them. Okay. Uh, geeks are also known to be very funny. So, so, don't worry about that. Okay. It's okay to be horny. Don't knock your head. Just admit it. Now. You either you're horny for a guy or horny for a girl. <laughs> okay. 
it actually depends. Don't worry about it. Let's be honest, okay? If you're attracted to some girl because she's pretty, she's curvy and all that stuff. <laughs> all right? You're not attracted to me because of my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also curvy. <laughs> but my curve is outside. <laughs> so, think about this. I want you to actually just give yourself some thought. I'm not going to cover you with free software. I just want you to ask yourself a question. While you are... Next time you actually file your, your your income tax when you work and put in your data for medical records and everything. Are you sure you want to actually send it to a system which is owned by someone else, which you have no access to the taxpayer to, okay? And that that the agency can no longer hire anyone to fix it if the manufacturer no longer wants to support it. It's going to be really bad. Okay? Don't worry, if you ask she's asking me to shut the hell up. <laughs> Fine, okay. Um, any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Any questions? I just want to put some thoughts into your mind as we go on today, okay? Whether you are, uh, you know, you go home, you continue playing with your pirated version of uh, Windows 7. Downloading porn, watching. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. You know you did it before. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You know you did it before. Yeah. There's an anime of Taku here. I'm pretty sure you have pirated something. Okay. Those of you who love Japanese cartoons, most of them are not even legal in this <laughs> Don't laugh. Okay. Don't laugh. I used to manage firewalls. Most of the, the things that go to Paul website, surprise, surprise, ladies, not guys. Wow. You're surprised, yeah? I came up with a percentage, 65%. Yeah, that's a shot. Ooh, Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 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 you know, like, <laughs> okay. And they're looking at lesbian websites. But you know, <laughs> No, this is this is a true thing because I used to work at a multinational and actually manage all these uh, logs, you know. So I'm not gonna tell which multinational because you know you don't want to be gay and stick out home. She, she might be the one looking at the phone. <laughs> the funny thing is that um, <coughs> let's be honest with yourself. Be happy with who you are. Some people say that if being technical or IT is a waste of your time, you don't waste your time with them. Okay? Because if you are an IT person and you only know how to use one type of platform, seriously, you are really sad. You are not an IT person, you're just a Microsoft engineer. I don't care who you are, even if you're going out to a professor and you only know Linux. Hey, don't worry. That's so mad. I won, but I'm not sure how to use it. <laughs> then you're very sad. Because you speak at least two languages. Why can you, why only you can only do computing in one platform? Mm -hmm. And a platform which you downloaded from the internet. Questions? No? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.